Living a boring life filled with instant gratification is the enemy. Video games, Instagram, Netflix, those are all activities that you think is fun until the second they're over. Any enjoyment you get after playing a round of COD immediately disappears once the headphones come off and then you're just left there with an empty existence knowing you're a waste of oxygen. The fun activities that most normal people do day to day actually drain your enjoyment from your life. And you're living a boring life because you're doing nothing that actually excites you. And I know you might be saying, oh, but video games make me happy. Happiness is not the goal. Honestly, happiness is a scam. If happiness is a life goal of yours, you should know that pain is coming. Because if you base your life around something as flimsy as emotions, you're fucked. Instead of saying happiness is the goal, we should replace happiness with excitement. We should set goals and challenges for ourselves that excite us and that give us a reason to jump out of bed in the morning. Your life is boring because you have nothing to work on, nothing to look forward to. If you set a goal that's reasonably unreasonable and you actively work towards that goal, your quality of life instantly increases. And what I mean by setting a goal that's reasonably unreasonable, I mean you don't just set yourself a pussy goal. You don't want to set yourself a sham goal. We want to set a goal for ourselves that is possible to reach, but will require great work to achieve it. And this is where most guys get stopped. They don't set themselves big goals because of their fear of failure. So basically what I'm saying is you're a fucking pussy. <laughs> but for real though, we've seen it a million times on all those motivational TikToks, those motivational Instagram reels, all that, that we need failure to succeed. We need to learn from our failures so we can eventually get a success. And we've heard that so much that now it's basically a meme, like we're numb to it. But it seriously is the truth. We need to look at success and failure on one plane and boredom and inactivity on another plane. Obviously, we don't want to fail on purpose, but we want to put ourselves in the position where we can actually fail. And this is where most guys mess up. This is a problem. This is a problem we have to solve. We have to change our mindset and look at it as if I'd rather fail a goal than to not have set that goal in the first place. It's depressing that modern men, we don't look at the world like this. We don't have that drive to achieve, to succeed. And most of it's coming from being consumed by the virtual world, primarily video games. We're too busy adventuring in Minecraft and adventuring in real life. We're too busy trying to get a trophy in COD to get a trophy in a real fucking sport. Us men, we're meant to be in the dirt, striving towards something. And most 80% of guys, we don't have that drive. And you think I'm talking to someone else. But chances are, if you made it this far in this video, this applies to you. You can't let your ego blind you from where you could be. You can't let your ego blind you from where you could be in life in five 10 years, if you did all the right things, if you did the things you should be doing, if you stopped the bad habits, if you started the good ones, and you actually got to work. But what does all this mean? What's some practical advice you can take home right now? Take out a piece of paper, take out a pen, write down five goals that excite you, that you could do, that you would do, and start one of them today. This is what separates 99% of men to the top 1%. Most guys watching this video, they're not taking out a piece of paper. They're not doing that shit. Why would they? And to be honest, I don't want those guys here anyway. This channel is for a very small subset of men who want to take back control in their lives and are willing to put in the work to do so. If that's you, take out a piece of paper. Don't be afraid to give up the good for the great. Peace out.